And then on the Thursday morning, um, the, the doctors came in to see me and see how I was doing. And the midwives were actually giving him meals and letting him sleep for a few hours. Women who have recently experienced a near-miss illness and almost died in pregnancy talk about their experience. These interviews were just one part of a significant programme of study carried out by the National Perinatal Epidemiology Unit at the University of Oxford. One of the clear benefits of studying women with a near-miss illness is that obviously you can talk to women themselves, which you can't do uh, when women have died. Uh, and we can get very different perspectives on what is good care and what is poor care from talking to women and their families. And that's why we're undertaking a series of interviews with women who've been severely ill in pregnancy to uh, give us insight into how we can improve their care in the future and particularly what long-term effects these illnesses can have on them and their families. We actually showed that near-miss morbidities are very much more common among women from certain ethnic minority groups and this clearly is important when we're designing services so that they can meet the needs of individual populations so it's important that these women have particular uh, services to help improve their outcomes from near-miss illnesses. The unit working on the programme of study is based at the University of Oxford and has a large team of researchers working on a wide variety of population-based trials and studies. It's essential that health policy and clinical practice is evidence-based. The National Perinatal Epidemiology Unit was established with funding from the Department of Health in 1978 and the aim of the unit is to provide the best quality evidence to support the improvement of care to women and their families during pregnancy, labour and delivery, in the neonatal and early childhood period, and to ensure the best use of the healthcare resources that are provided. The NPEU has for a number of years been carrying out the National Maternity Survey, which looks at women's experience of their care before, during and after childbirth. How women experience this, this kind of very major life event is, is, is really important. We need their views both in terms of understanding how the, how the experience is for them and in terms of trying to change and improve services. A random sample of women who had recently given birth was taken, with over 5,000 responses. The questionnaire is wide-ranging, focusing on everything from the kind of service they received to the health outcomes for the mothers. The survey data can do a number of different things. It can allow us to look at change over time, in women's views and in the practices and services that are changing. But we can also look at the experience of very different groups of women, say younger parents or uh, women who uh, come from ethnic minority groups, women who are disabled and parents whose babies are in neonatal units. It's important to look at those groups because their experiences may be very different. The thing that stands out from all the surveys, from the work that was done in 1995 right through to the work that was done last year, is that very much women want individualised care. They want to uh, experience kindness and respect, and they want to understand uh, what people are explaining to them. So we need good communication too. At the NPEU, we work with a lot of collaborators. It's absolutely essential. We can't do all this work on our own. Uh, we're the coordinators, we're sometimes the instigators of research, but collaborators are absolutely essential to what we do. And those collaborators are not only in the United Kingdom. The work the unit's doing on caesarean section has partners around the globe. Caesarean sections have been rising across the world over the last few decades. In some countries it's, it's as low as 9%, in some countries it's as high as 46%, for instance, in China. Caesarean section is done in a way that can be different from surgeon to surgeon because the techniques used have, cannot be truly evaluated before they're put into practice, not like a drug for instance. Because of this rise we felt that there was a real need to evaluate caesarean section techniques properly and it would probably only be done once because it, is, it needs a very large trial. Working with regional trial offices staffed in-country, the trial has recruited 16,000 women over three years, making it the largest cohort ever to undertake caesarean sections in a randomised trial. The Cronus trial is of huge importance worldwide because any small difference that we find will have a huge effect on thousands if not millions of mothers and their families. The work of clinical staff is improving outcomes for women all the time and it's the evidence on which practice and policy is based that allows this to happen. Everything we do at the MPU is with the goal of improving the outcomes for mothers and their babies. Together with our collaborators in the UK and across the world, we're striving to achieve this goal as we move forward into the future.